Welcome to the Daily Challenge for November 13th, 2014. Let's begin.
I don't have any bombs, I can't even kill him, can I? Damn! That armor is so good. Well, a little bit too late. Okay, this ring could get me killed because it has the weird effect of making me teleport to where an enemy is when I kill it. Which is kind of cool. I mean, it allows you to move very fast, but it's also very weird. so much for that. That was interesting. I'm just thinking about um, how I got the glass rapier in the first place. Because I got it by luring a Minotaur mini-boss into one of those shrines of... Uh, I don't know what they're called. Shrine of... 
suffering? Uh, sacrifice? Some, I think it's a shrine of sacrifice. Yep, should have backed up there. I didn't see the armadillo. Or maybe I did see the armadillo, I don't know. I mean, honestly, when I play this game, I kind of just get into a trance and... It's mostly autopilot. Most likely, I was not expecting to teleport forwards, because I'm not really used to having this ring that makes you teleport to where an enemy is when you kill it. That's most likely what happened. Because, yeah, if I hadn't have teleported forwards, I would have been fine. Then again, I was trying to attack the skeleton beneath me, which, if I tried to do that without teleporting, would have still moved me. So it still wouldn't have ended up very good, although I probably wouldn't have died. I just would have taken damage. Anyway, yeah, the way I got the glass repair was a little bit messy. I did lower the Minotaur into it, but I did that by giving up my coin multiplier. Which really isn't that big of a deal, to be honest. The coin multiplier really is not that big of a deal, because you can get it back so quickly. You really don't lose much. And I could have gotten... I could have killed the Minotaur next to it without, you know, giving up my coin multiplier and just sitting in one place and waiting for him to come to me. But it would be pretty risky. I mean, if you just wait there, it's pretty much guaranteed. You know, he's down to one hit point. Just wait till he comes close and then attack. Super simple. Whereas if I try to kill him when he's moving, and while I'm moving, it's a little bit more tricky. And one hit from him and I'm dead. I think. So, I think it was worth it to give up my coin, coin multiplier for a guaranteed clean kill. And this ring is very interesting. The Ring of Courage, I believe it's called. Because that combined with a rapier means you can move extremely fast across the map. So not only if you attack an enemy from two blocks away do you move towards it, one. But if you actually kill it in that hit, which given that I had a glass rapier is pretty much guaranteed, then I'll actually teleport to it. So I can very easily teleport two tiles. Very interesting. Takes some getting used to, but I think that's a powerful combination. For, I don't know about running away, but at least for just clearing a room really quickly. And since running out of time on each level is a bit of a problem for me, I think it's a damn good thing to have the ability to teleport. So, I give that ring a Nido out of 10. Would put on my finger again. Okay, number 22, it's about 50 minutes after the daily challenge switched over, so not bad. <laughs> Somebody's name is Rebirth is cancelled? Huh? As in Binding of Isaac Rebirth? It's not cancelled, it's out. And it's good. Really good. Anyway, that has been the daily challenge for November 13th, 2014. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.